Election night is underway here in western Washington. More than 600 races are set to be decided in this year's general election. Some of the biggest races are in King County and could significantly change politics in Seattle. Thank you for joining us at 9 o'clock. I'm Steve Solis. I'm Jessica Janner Castro. The first round of results just dropped about an hour ago. King 5 has team coverage on this election night. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll check in with King 5's Eric Wilkinson on the race for sheriff in Snohomish County. But we begin with the races for Seattle City Council. Seven of the nine Seattle City Council seats are on the ballot. Districts 1, 3, 4, and 5 are open because the incumbents decided not to run. Here's a look at all the races that were on the ballots tonight. And with the vote totals right now, the council could look a lot different next year. But a reminder, this is just the first round of ballots collected. It could still take a few days for us to find out who will sit on the city council next year. One of the three races where an incumbent is trying to keep their seat is District 2, where incumbent Tammy Morales is being challenged by community activist Tanya Wu right now. Early results show that Wu has a narrow lead with almost half of the votes counted. King 5's Connor Board has been following this race and is getting reactions from candidates tonight. She joins us live now with the very latest. Connor. I'm live right now on Beacon Hill outside the incumbent Tammy Morales' watch party, which is right behind me. Since these early results came down, I have had the chance to speak with both candidates about how they're feeling with these early results. Now, like I said, I'm outside Morales' watch party here in Beacon Hill, and at community activist Tanya Wu is holding hers in the Chinatown International District. Morales says although she has less votes in these early results, she says she is in good spirits and plans on more votes coming in in her favor. Wu told me she's in great spirits and is excited to see more votes come in in the coming days, but feels good about being ahead as of right now. Both candidates believe their messages have resonated with the voters. All my priorities were public safety, homelessness and housing and messaging was, you know, bringing it back down to the neighborhoods, bringing it back down and listening to our communities and to people and really trying to find solutions together. It's really important that we work hard to make sure that people can afford to stay in the city and really that the people of District 2 can benefit from whatever investment might be coming down the pike um, rather than getting pushed out. Coming up tonight at 10, we'll have more reaction from both candidates in the District 2 Seattle City Council race. In Seattle's Beacon Hill neighborhood, Connor Board, King 5 News. Thank you, Connor. And let's take a look at District 6, which covers the Fremont, Ballard, Green Lake, Magnolia neighborhoods. It is a tight race after this first round of ballots. Pete Hanning has a slight lead over incumbent Dan Strauss. There are just about 400 votes separating them right now. District 7 includes the downtown Queen Anne and South Lake Union neighborhoods, among others. And in this race, incumbent Andrew Lewis is trailing by quite a bit. Bob Kettle has about a 1600 vote lead after tonight's count. King 5's Julie Calhoun is joining us live in studio with more on the state of the Seattle City Council. Julie. Steve, Jessica, well, with those incumbents trailing right now, it looks like we could have a whole new city council. But let's take a look at the seats that will have a new council member no matter what. Right now, Rob Saka is leading. Marin Costa with 59% of the vote. Costa sitting at 41%. The winner will take over Lisa Herbold's seat, who did not run for re election. Right now, Joy Hollingsworth is leading Alex Hudson in District 3. Hollingsworth up by more than 3,000 votes at this point, with 58% of the vote. Hudson with 42%. The seat is open after Progressive Council member Shama Sawant decided not to run. And in District 4, Maritza Rivera has the lead over Ron Davis. Rivera with 56%, Davis with 44% of the vote. The winner there will take over Councilmember Alex Peterson's seat, who also decided not to run. And right now, Kathy Moore has a strong lead over Christina Obi Sumner. Moore has 70% of the vote. Obi Sumner has 30% at this point. District 5 covers parts of North Seattle and will take over Deba Juarez's seat, who also did not seek re-election. Another race that could further change the makeup of the Seattle City Council is King County District 8 seat. Right now is a very close one, but the current at-large council member for Seattle City Council, Teresa Mosqueda, has a slight lead in that race with 260 votes over Sophia Aragon. Now, if Mosqueda wins, the Seattle City Council Council would need to appoint her a replacement.